Hello, good afternoon. We're here at Dursfold Farm in Surrey with the legendary Lynn Russell, and today she's going to show us how to pull a horse's tail. Now, Lynn, I know from experience, this is one of those jobs that, A, everybody hates doing. Yep. I'm quite sure there's a lot of different ways to do it. There is. Nobody seems to ever do it really properly, and the scissors come out, and it all ends up a bit <laughs> of a disaster. So can you talk us through how you do it and, and the correct way to actually pull a tail? Yes, I certainly can. Now, there's, there's two ways. Um, with the cobs, because cobs tend to scratch, um, I don't use a comb, I use these. Oh, okay. right. Yep. Um, with a thoroughbred horse, I'll use a comb. Um, because cobs are coarse skinned and they tend to be much more sensitive so when you pull them they then start to scratch right so we use these combs and I found them really really useful very quick and very efficient and they're okay. just normal available grooming kit available from tax um, stores no these are clipper sharp ones right um, you can get them in tax shops um, they're not difficult to get hold of nowadays you get different ones you can get fine ones medium ones and coarse ones do they actually have a name or are they just um, yeah, I, no, I think they're, they're just like a stripping just comb. Just a stripping yeah, comb. Okay. okay. So if we look at this tail, you can see that you've got lots and lots of hair through here. But we don't want to take away anything from the base of the tail. Okay. So we need to work on either side of the tail. So I'm going to start with this one, which mm -hmm. is slightly finer. I'm going to pull the hair to one side and I'm going to work my way through down either side because you basically want to make the dock much thinner. I was just about to, to say to you, what is the point of doing it? Are we showing more shape or is it just well, a turn Well, we want to make the horse look like he's got a really nice, fine, quality tail. So you're showing off his bottom. Um, so the other thing by using um, something like these combs that I'm using now, if you get a horse, some horses don't like it and they'll kick you. Mm -hmm. um, very, very seldom do I ever run into a problem with a horse that doesn't mind this. And you can see that we do get a lot of hair out, but you do need to stand back. I mean, I could do this and talk to you and not look because I've done hundreds of them. Sure. Um, but you do need to keep looking, put your hand down and make sure that you're getting and you can see the difference if you look from one side to the sure. other already so you're just okay. starting at the side of the dock lifting it to one side yeah. and taking it you're out getting it as side. close to the dock as possible okay so you work your way through and keep taking the hair off the comb otherwise it won't work and you don't want to take any of the long hairs off the skirt of the tail you're basically working your way through and, and how see. far down would you go um well, if you can see, because I haven't actually done this horse's tail since last year, I usually go down to about here, so three about quarters three of the way down. Yeah. Okay. Um, sometimes with the Irish horses, they'll come in and their tails have been chewed, and I won't take them down as far because the base of the tail is very thin. Um, you can put a false tail in if you want to as well. But if you take a look now, you can see the difference from the side that I've done. Yeah. You see Incredible the difference. difference, yeah. And you can see how much hair that we've taken out already. Now I'll move to the other side, and it's the same way. We're taking the hair out down the side of the tail, pull it and comb through, and you can see. Fantastic amount, isn't it? Yeah. It's a lot to come out, because as I say, he hasn't been done. Okay, so there we have a beautifully pulled towel. We now, have. what about the length, Lynn? What's well, the first Well, first of all, I'm just going to put a towel bandage on because I want to encourage the hair to lay flat. Just right, okay. so having put a towel bandage on, now we're going to deal with the length of the tail. Now, this tail is too long. I like my tails to be just in line here with the chestnut. Okay. But you have to remember that when a horse is ridden, it carries its tail. So a useful thing to do is, I'm just going to go and get a stick. <laughs> but I'm going to put a stick underneath its tail, like that, because that's how he'll carry his tail when he's All right. Okay. Okay. And then hopefully it'll stay there while I get some clippers. So you don't use scissors to do the length no, of the tail? No, I don't. 
Um, I don't use scissors because you can't do it all in one. And the thing is that you do need to get it level. Right, so you need to get hold of the horse's tail, okay, and you try and do it as much as you can in one movement because that way you get it level. Perfect. And then take it out. And remember, it might take you one or two tries because you don't want to take it too short. You can always cut off a bit more, but you can't absolutely. put it back. Absolutely. Um, and now we've done the tail, and we'll just take the tail bandage off. And there you have your perfect tail. tail. And that's how to pull a tail. Lynn Russell, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.